with the recommended Netgear router. That's a standard component in most systems and that's where in layman's common terms that's where you'd normally stop. Um, on a DS system we always recommend taking it down a more specialist route and trying to get dedicated components to dedicated jobs uh, because a Netgear router would actually start off giving you access to the internet it's also the DHCP server for the network so it gives the IP addresses to everything that needs to talk to each other it also does the switching through four ports on the back and it also does the wireless uh, through the antenna there uh, the limitation there is the fact that it has one processor and if you're trying to get a Netgear router for £35-£40 to do the internet, the IP, the switching and the wireless in one box for a very very aggressive cost uh, you don't have the headroom to give you something that's robust and reliable. The first step is to take the switching job away from the Netgear router into this recommended Netgear router which is an enterprise grade Voyager product product. Uh, it's built to a much higher standard and more importantly it's just a switch. Um, it's of similar cost to the Netgear router and instead of doing so many jobs it does one job of switching at a high quality and obviously takes a lot of the, the workload away from the Netgear router. We then plug the new switch into a wireless access point which is once again enterprise grade, uh, very high quality, dedicated to being a wireless access point. Um, that product takes the wireless access uh, point job away from the Netgear router. So what we then have is a system which has this box to access the internet and do the IP addresses. We have this quality box to do all the switching and we have this quality box to do the, in, uh, the wireless access for the control point. Um, much more robust, much more reliable, um, giving everyone involved a, a repeatable product setup.